93 WIBC. It is Terry Stacy, and thank you for being here this morning. This year, more than 1,200 students have graduated from WGU Indiana, and October 15th, that day, 349 walked in their largest commencement ceremony, and graduates came from all over the state with very diverse backgrounds, and every one of them have a story to tell. And four of those graduates were selected to address their class. We had Nina Peterson of Whiteland, Shelby Durham of Bremen. We have Lindsay Della De La Soul from Indianapolis and also Dwight Schoenfeld of Salem, who is able to join us this morning. Dwight, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Congratulations. A degree in IT management. And was it a dream come true for you? It absolutely was to have actually the degree was in business IT, um, business IT management. Business IT management. Now, I know this didn't come easy. And I'm told the average age of 2016 WGU graduates is about 41. How close to 41 years old are you? I may have fallen a little above that that curve. I am actually 55. Okay. How long did it take you to get that degree? How many years? Once I started into the program, it took three years, three months, and 25 days. You know, you were selected to address this graduating class, and you titled your speech, No Matter What. And I have a copy of this, and, and that's why I wanted everybody to just hear what you had to say. You told the class that uh, you've had a lot of titles in your life, and I want you to name some of the titles in your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christian, husband, son, father, daddy, grandpa, brother, friend, computer nerd, IAT leader, Recovering addict, and yes, homeless veteran. And homeless veteran. You served in the Air Force? I did. How, how long ago was that? I got out in uh, 1985. Why did you want to serve? What, what, uh, what led you to or motivated you to, to sign up? My, I went in when I was 17. My dad was a World War II uh, radio, op, radio operator, waste gunner on the B-24, and he is my hero, and um, there was nothing I could, nothing other than serving my country at that point, at that young age, and uh, trying to make my dad proud. Yeah, where were where were you? Where were you stationed? What was your job? I was uh, an electronic countermeasures, electronic warfare, a- avionics technician, and I was stationed in uh, Germany at Sembach Air Base. Did th- had three years over there, and. Uh, I was stationed a short time in Castle Air Force Base, California, and then uh, Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, was my final base. Well, we sure do appreciate your service. We do. We appreciate that very, very much. In your speech, you talk a little bit about that, but you also talk about that you've had more do-overs than an alley cat. <laughs> and what do you tell us what you mean? Well, I, uh, by virtue of the fact that after I left the Air Force, I did have a little time of uh, being homeless, and um, I tried uh, tried everything uh, to to improve my life. And and uh, as life happens, uh, sometimes sometimes the, you get a few curveballs, and um, you know I uh, <laughs> I just had an opportunity to start life over in many regards, but. Uh, since November of 87, actually November 7th of 1987, uh, I've been in recovery as, from the, the disease of addiction, and it has uh, had the, the do-overs in the right direction since then. Yeah. You've met a lot of people along the way, I'm sure, good people and bad people. And um, I just, I always am so, uh, it just doesn't seem right that we have homeless veterans. I know we do, a large population of them. And as we get closer to Veterans Day, you know, we certainly we certainly think about you all the time. But for sure, it just doesn't seem like that should ever be possible. Um, you, you know, you ended your commencement speech with a parting phrase. I want you to tell us what that parting phrase was. That parting phrase is actually from uh, the good book, and it says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. And um, another important part of my closing of that is, uh, you know, WGU gave me an opportunity to realize a lifelong dream. And the way that they have the uh, 
competency-based learning is uh, and the way the, the program is structured is just absolutely phenomenal and it's perfect for anyone in a, in a working environment. But uh, they, they lay the, they lay it out where it, it truly is one day, one class, one paper, one test at a time, and uh, they make they make the uh, the goals very achievable. Now, and Mr. so that's how I ended it with that, that, that parting phrase. Yeah, you know, and you you mentioned one one step at a time, and that's very much like recovery, isn't it? It's just one it, one day you look at one minute at a time, one day at a time. It very much is, and uh, you know that's that's the <laughs> the easiest way to get through the day is knowing <laughs> it's the only one you have to worry about. But, uh, Who introduced you to WGU? How did you find your way there? What 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 was it? Well, a family member of mine also uh, was going through the business IT management uh, class, and uh, she inspired me to, uh, you know, if I if I followed it in in with the program that I too could could do it, and I, um, you know, I took that recommendation and uh, to be able to, and then to be to, to not only to graduate at 55 with the Little over twenty eight years of recovery. Yeah. Uh, to be to be selected as a as a commencement speaker and get up and tell my story in front of about twenty seven hundred people, that was probably one of the greatest honors of my life. That's so great. It's just so great. It really is. Your life has changed so much, and you've got so much to celebrate. And you're using that degree. You've got a great job. Um, I do work for a company in Columbus. I've been absolutely blessed in my career. To, um, and to be an IT team leader, uh, I've, I've progressed in my career, and I can only hope that uh, my uh, time uh, in, in, in the career, plus having now having my bachelor's, will only, only help me further. Yeah. Well, I know that um, we're right around that anniversary of your recovery, as you mentioned. Congratulations on that, and um, congratulations on this graduation This is and getting your degree. It's phenomenal, and thank you again for your service to Dwight. Dwight Schoenfeld from Salem, and um, he just recently graduated from WGU, 55 years young, and it's just awesome. Thank you so much, Dwight, Dwight and congratulations. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to speak to you today. And it's an honor to be asked to, say, to to share my story on WGU. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Terry.